I can't see myself that day When I don't blow and I don't get that fame as soon as I step on stage, everybody start to respond. All right, guys, it is another amazing opportunity to be here in the studio of Hero Television, and I want to say thank you for dropping your comments on our previous post. We really appreciate you guys. It shows that, yes, you really appreciate what we are actually dishing out to you guys. And it's today, of course, it's not going to be exceptional on the program because I have another amazing personality that I'll be sharing his experience and some of the things I actually passed through before he became. Uh, a celebrity in the entertainment world. Yes, he is also uh, he's, a, he's an author, he's a businessman, he's a philanthropist, he's an entrepreneur. Uh, his name is Honorable Wakian Labi. Yes, some of you might be wondering why am I saying in the entertainment world. Of course, one way or the other is actually involved in entertainment because sports itself is also all about entertainment. So he's the founder of Naira Bet. Yes, NairaBet.com. His name is Honorable Akin Alabi. He's the one I'm going to be discussing with you guys today. Don't go nowhere. Some people believe this generation is self-obsessed because of our love for selfies and how we take pictures of everything. But we know better. We know that a selfie is how you capture and celebrate your journey. It's how you celebrate the rewards of your grind. So in the middle of your hustle, if you come across something exciting, take a second to capture it. While on your journey, record it, show the world, and you never know, it might just be the beginning of something great. That's why we have made the Infinix S4 with a 32 megapixel AI selfie camera. So every moment you choose to capture will be nothing short of clear and amazing. Infinix S4, empower the infinity you. Okay, welcome back from that uh, little short break. That's how we do it here on Hero Television. Uh, today, like I said, I'll be sharing with you a few details about Honorable Akin Alabi. Of course, he's born on the 31st of March in the year 1977. Like I said earlier, he's a Nigerian politician, he's an entrepreneur, and he's the author of the book, Small Business big money in case you've not read that book of course you should try and lay your hands on it it's actually an interesting uh book for those that actually want to venture into becoming an entrepreneur in nigeria now moving on today akin alabi is the mortgage head of ajiwobo compound in ibadan he was appointed by the ulubadan of ibadan his royal highness Salu at Detunji on Monday, the 5th of uh, December in the year 2016. And of course, he's born in Oyo State, Nigeria, to Chief and Chief Mrs. Ade Duma Alabi. Uh, Akin Alabi had his primary education in Command Children's Secondary School before he proceeded to Federal Government College in Enugu before he proceeded to the Polytechnic Ibadan, where he had his uh, business administration as national higher national diploma in business administration before he now proceeded to um, add his master's degree in marketing from the university of liverpool united kingdom and he holds a certificate in intellectual property strategy from Harvard university in the united states now talking about his business career he actually started his business career in 2003 writing and selling books manual and other information products before he proceeded to launching his own seminar and training company specializing in teaching and consulting for other young people starting their own businesses. Of course, uh, according to him, he said he actually laid his hands on some petty jobs before he actually, you know, uh, eventually found himself in online uh, business. But what actually prompted him to actually go into that online business was when he actually visited his uncle in the United Kingdom where we actually introduced him to online betting he said the first time he was going to bet he actually placed a bet of 20 pounds on a spot and i mean on a uh, match and eventually he won 35 pounds and he felt that wow if we could make this kind of amount of money because he said apart from that first one that he made he also had to place several other bets and he won and he said if we could do something like that there are some of other people who are um, sport lovers here in Nigeria, and he decided to come down to Nigeria and actually start the business. And of course, according to him, he said it's not just something that he did uh, magically, that it's something that he actually had to build from scratch. And he said it was with the help of his former girlfriend, according to him. 
that actually helped him in developing his um, Naira Bird site. That was when it all started in Lagos. And of course, he has his then girlfriend, and of course, he has the backing of National Lottery Regulatory Commission that actually, you know, they're actually into lottery, that actually he had to work with them to be able to put Naira bets that come into reality. Yes, uh, talking about his uh, philanthropic work, Aki Alabi was involved in philanthropic works. And he's the founder of Aki Alabi Foundation. He's a non-governmental non and not-for-profit outfit aimed at improving the well-being of average Nigerians. Of course, it's actually mainly for... Um, the youth and of course the widows, they actually want to empower them. He believe that that is the only little way you can actually add to Nigerian economy. Now moving away from there, talking about his um, political career, he said he actually uh, fell in love with politics right from his childhood when he usually followed his biological father to political meetings. And that was where the uh, interest of becoming a politician came up. And ever since his... Um, yeah, talking about his political career, he actually said it started when he actually followed his biological father to political meetings. And that was where the interest of politics came up. Uh, he said that he fell in love with uh, politics and uh, because he feel politics is one of the most powerful tools you can use to impart society and there's no other tool you can use. Um, of course, if you ask me, it's actually a good um, start for Honorable Akin Alabi because uh, there are a lot of other businessmen that once they feel they've actually attained some position, they also believe impacting in people's life is actually by going into politics because that is the only way they can get to correct some of the things that are actually going wrong in politics. But of course, we're not going into that for now. We are actually talking about Akian Labi, some of the things he actually did. Uh, of course, he's uh, the member of ruling all progressive congress and i don't really want to go into that guys now let's talk about his personal life um Akin alabi has this favorite quote according to him he said while he was in secondary school some of his uh mates then were actually hoping to become a lawyer doctors and all that but he just wanted to be a billionaire that is the mindset that he has always had right from childhood and he said it actually helped him. According to his quote, he said, and I quote, I just wanted to be as rich as legally possible. I couldn't care less if I was going to be a rich doctor, rich salesman, or rich whatever. I just wanted to be rich. And after uh, five failed attempts to get into the university, which forced him to settle for an HND, I can decided to focus on personal growth and entrepreneurship. And he said again, and I quote, I consumed a lot of knowledge, be it from books, audio materials, training sessions and seminars, end of quotes. And of course, he said, according to him, again, that he had this a lot of books in his office that, that actually helped him as a personal development. He loves to read a lot of books. And like I said, he's the author of Small Business, Big Money. Yes, uh, before I actually get to round up, Honorable Akin Alabi is married to Dami Larry and is blessed with kids. And he's also a fan of Manchester United and he's also a fan of 3SC. And his, one, his brand, that's NairaBets.com, is actually a proud sponsor of 3SC. Now, um, that is where I'm going to be drawing the curtain today on the program. Um, my um, MCM today is Honorable Akin Alabi. Of course, I want you all to actually be inspired. If you have not read that book, Small Business, Big Money, and you're in true business, you're an entrepreneur, I charge you all to go get a copy of that book and read. And of course, I believe you'll be inspired and be motivated by this young, amazing man. Of course, that's where I'm going to be dropping the curtain today on the program, Enter Aspiration. And this is a platform where we actually, you know, bring the best of the best man crush every Monday morning. Yes, we call them our man crush because one way or the other, they've impacted in people's life positively. And that is what they actually believe they can actually do to add to the development of the country. So please and please ensure that you all live a life of legacy while alive because these people that we actually talk about are living a life of legacy, no matter how small, if you ask me, no matter how small. My name is Dele Ajewale, and thank you all so much for being a part of the program today. I'll see you guys next week. Oh, 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 now they don't know, oh, oh, music from Martin's soul. I want to prove to the world that dreams come true. Yeah.